Hey y'all, so I'm not trying to be like this cute little YouTube or whatever, but life is crazy. Like I wanted to do a weekly vlogs for you guys and it just it's just been all over the place. So I'm so sorry about that. So where do I start? It's the day after Valentine's. I am so over the mind games, y'all. So my son said literally wanted to be with me so bad. But I knew I wasn't ready for a relationship because I didn't know how to set boundaries. Well I guess that was the perfect thing for him. Um, ironically, because he wanted someone that had no standards, no boundaries. Because he's a fucking piece of shit. So, this is Jezebel spirit, y'all. Like, it is just him. It's just like, I can't. I really can't. It's just that, it's the Jezebel spirit, to be honest. Like, the Jezebel spirit, like, you know, the things that he be, that he just be doing. It's just like, I don't, you know, I know that I don't. This is not what God had planned for me. Like, this is not what I, this is not what I desire. And... It's just like he just wants like a toxic relationship and I'm like so literally when I met him you know I thought he was a Christian man like I thought he was gonna have a normal family but I guess I was too broken to have a normal family I don't freaking know yeah because I'm healing now and it's like I know what I want now and I'm just so over what like I didn't want what's he doing it's like I know what I want now you know it's been in my face and now it's just time for me to pursue it you know out of straight up faith and it was just a crazy time though because it's a time where you know I have my one friend that she understands me you know the one over here and we I tell her about like my spiritual journey and it's just been really a relief um, but other than that, you know, she's like the only one that under, you know, that really understands me. Even my kingdom spouse, he gets like, you know, he doesn't really get like so involved with, with it because he knows that my, I just have a lot of emotions and, you know. You guys are just not the greatest with emotions but yesterday i had a little galentine's um my friend she took me out to we went we got like a milkshake it was just so nice and it was so needed and it was just beautiful she never knew what galentine's was and i was like i was like what like this is like i love galentine's but then i got this rose gifted it's made out of feathers isn't that cool but yeah someone well, I got this, yeah, from the gas station, actually. She got one first, and then I was like, I need one because fucking is Valentine's. I don't care. So, I actually, like, you know, gave a little confession <laughs> for Valentine's Day. I just feel so bad because, you know, my kingdom spouse, he's just been, like, waiting, and I'm just like, I mean, I trust that God is also informing him, but at the same time, um, I feel bad because it's like, I guess for me, I, I really like, you know, I'm a very, I'm very big on like attention. I'm very big on gifts. So I treat like, you know, that's my, that's how I'm going to try to love on somebody. Cause that's how I know, you know, to receive and so like i'll be trying to tell him but i think for him it's just like like he's just like about the bigger picture i like the little things but um you know i just feel bad because 
I guess I'm probably not gonna see him until my birthday. And yeah, but I just feel bad because, you know, it's just like been so long that I haven't seen him and that, you know, so many holidays and so many things that pass and I just still haven't seen him. And it's just cause like, I want to be, you know, I want to be in the right place because I don't want to get another, I don't want to put myself in another situation. Like I had a weird feeling even, you know, going to hang out with my son's dad when I first met him. And it was because like, I knew I wasn't ready and I put myself in this predicament. And it's just like now, like, it's just like overwhelming. It's just, I don't know. It's just like, I feel like, you know, the best thing that I can do right now is take some time for myself. You love it? Come here. Come here. They actually almost gave me um two. They gave us actually I almost because they didn't realize my friend had already got one. I should have took it I and gave it to Gilly because I was thinking about giving one. Come here. I'm gonna put this on your hand. I made him this little Spider-Man mask because they have the cutest Spider-Man costume at um Walmart and his dad wouldn't get it. Come on, you wanna show them your mask? But he is obsessed. <laughs> so that's his little that's his little flower. I'm gonna give it to him. But yeah, so I got that flower and then my friend she also gave me these slippers. So that's cute. Um and then like I said we went like out to you know eat and stuff. And I gave her like some of my hair oil the day before that but and um she be having like chocolate we just we just had a really good time my son's dad like would just watch <sighs> this is the whole story out but my son's dad watched him for a little bit last night so i was able to just you know have some me time and that was really good but anyways um yeah i don't feel like my kingdom is to me i feel like he just wants me to focus on you know doing my stuff and i really respect that because who leaves the the price tag see that's so weird like it's that type of stuff but anyways um y'all i just i don't want to get emotional you love it baby i love you so yeah i don't feel like you know he's i feel like we're both processing this a lot because it's just it's crazy even my friend like when i tell her things that are happening and she also has to process it and it's just like sometimes we'll have to take like a day or so like to just you know be with god because this has been crazy but yeah so yesterday um the day before valentine's day my son's dad was like you know it's like to a certain point where it's like i just want to keep the peace so like i just try to go along with things you know if i can because i don't want to stir the pot like i know that you know his i know that a a real person would like you know help and stuff but i guess he's just not like that like you know, you knew the situation that I was in. You knew, like, you know, you knew my life and everything. You knew how, you know, my problems with my family. Like, you knew that, you knew the predicament that I was in when you met me. And, like, you, I was a little girl. And you, like, literally gave me, you know, this child. Like, you gave me this. We got into the situation. Like, he knew I wasn't ready for this. And I even tried to tell him, like, the best that I could and, Mm, let me just not get upset but so i try to like play along with them as much as i can but the day before valentine's day um he takes like four hours coming home it's just like i know it's national cyber shit like don't please please don't break my heart in the comments any more than it already is but it's just like the fact like i broke my own heart because it's like why the fuck would you put up with this like what is literally wrong with you 
but it's the sin of the world you know it's the it's our humanness and there's nothing that we can do about it you know that's why it's by god's grace and we have to take up our cross like it's just child so the day before valentine's day he takes like four hours to come home already he's like the day before that he's like should i um i don't know should i try to go to work tomorrow should i try to go like i'm gonna run out of gas he's like should i try to go and i'm just like not saying anything I'm like i do not want like i did not sign up for a man child basically like i'm tired of having to fucking coach you like i have my own problems i have my own like i the last thing I need to do is take care of a grown ass man, like with terrible issues. Like, let me not begin. So, child, he's telling me this stuff, and he's like, "Should I go? Should I not?" And then, mind you, like he still is, you know, wanting to like thinking, you know, rekindling things. And I'm just like, "What the fuck, ever man?" Like, I don't like if. Like, I didn't say anything. So, he ends up going. Well, on the way home, well, he ends up getting, like, tree. He ends up driving, like, all out the way. And it was just this whole fucking, it was just this whole fabrication. He ends up supposedly being, like, all the way out the way. And it was, it's just, like, sickening. Like, me talking about this is really heavy for me. But it's, like, I need to, I need to express how I feel because you guys probably think, like, I'm a crazy person or like I'm just hiding everything in and it's just unhealthy and I understand and this is why I'm sharing this but um you know he takes my long to come home says that his car ran out of gas motherfucker who told you to do that you made this own choice yourself and like this is why I had to stop with him because the whole relationship like he's blaming me like i was literally there just for him to like blame his fucking problems on and i'm sorry that i'm cussing so much but this is frustrating it's been frustrating you guys are gonna see it's like he's literally a freaking narcissist a psychotic narcissist i've diagnosed to myself so Hold on. I'm gonna get my drink real quick. So I guess he was gonna share this with me yesterday i don't know it's in the fridge so i have some moonshine here um good stuff good stuff good stuff organic oh my cup smells like food because the fridge i guess but it has a pineapple it has some pineapples and what orange juice so i'm gonna add like a little bit of this but this is a lot. I'm gonna dump some of it out. And I want it to be like nice flavor. Mm, I have three pineapples in there. All right, so this is pink lemonade. That'll be good. Raspberry lemonade. So, listen. I know it's early in the morning, but if you, after you hear about my day yesterday, you're gonna understand. And my plans for today. So, <laughs> y'all this is why i've come to this conclusion that this is literally the enemy literally coming after like baby jesus because the stuff that he does to me is just insane and this is when like i really started to try to find out what is the antichrist like all this stuff and it's like, you know, the Jezebel spirit, that spirit that just hates kingdom love, that spirit that just rebels against God's way and plan for kingdom marriage, right? Because when there's kingdom reconciliation, when there's kingdom love, you can't participate if you don't even believe in kingdom marriage in the first place. Um, 
you know, it won't be genuine. Let me make sure he ain't drawing the computer. You know? Hey, Gabby. All right, y'all. So, um, mind you, I think I, t oh, I didn't tell y'all, but you know, he hasn't let me wash. We haven't washed laundry since you know I got here, and so at this point. I'm like considering going to like get this part time job across the street, but he's gonna have to be coming home on time because he'd be coming home late and and then also like while I'm working, he'll like try to worry me or just like you know be taking my money and stuff or not taking my money, but like you know like then all of a sudden he's broke and he needs this and that the dirt. I don't know, we could work something out like a little bit on the rent, but I don't freaking out, y'all. Let me let me recalibrate. So yesterday. So yesterday, um so his car gets abandoned. Runs on the gas. First, he tells me it's an hour. An hour walking, right? Then I said, well, I'm going to do something. Since you are taking forever to get home. And I can never do shit because it's always a problem. Well, then it turns to 45 minutes. Well, then it turns to 30 minutes. Within 10 minutes. Five minutes, man. So I'm like, I'm like over it. And then mind you, it's just like, the whole time framing was just off. And I'm just like, I'm not fucking retarded. I'm not fucking retarded. Like, he has this entitlement in him that thinks like he deserves like multiple women. And it's honestly so sickening. Like y'all probably see why I'm traumatized. Like I'm trying to explain to y'all, but y'all can probably see a little bit. But this shit has literally, you know, it literally fucked my head up. It did. It really did. And I'm a pretty like, you know, I've been through a good amount of stuff like you know, I'm a pretty strong person, but this shit fucked my head up. So, y'all. 
he ends up getting home he's all mad because he thought he was gonna catch me here with my my friend that was still was coming over like a creeper now you want to hurry up and get here because i have some because you think i have a female over so this man it's like I gotta wake up at five in the morning. It's like on Valentine's Day, right? I'm too. This is Monday night. I gotta wake up at five in the morning. I gotta go get my car. I'm like, are you crazy? You're gonna walk on this highway in the dark? Like, are you trying to get hit? We're like, oh, I might find a ride. I don't know. I'm just like, you're fucking insane. And I was like, if you wanna be gone all this time. I'm like, why are you lying to me? Like, if you're, I don't care for seeing somebody else. I don't care for broke up. Like, I'm a grown woman. Like, I will handle my fucking business. But like, he wants to sit here and like hide everything, and I'm just like, dude, stop. Like, it's over. Like, just give it up already. Like, stop fucking lying to me. <clears throat> so he literally just takes it and runs with that so he goes out in the morning and he comes goes get his car supposedly wherever the fuck it supposedly was and comes back with mind you when he come home from the car situation he literally just has a cigarette like not even the package like he would do this little things to like that are not fucking normal and then whenever i address it then i'm a crazy person so that was all that's why i was like fuck this you're not for me i need to have better boundaries and standards and so i don't like drinking out this big ass cup Where's my vape pen? Y'all. I'm so sorry, but I love you guys. Y'all are my fucking heart. You don't know that. I'll be right back. Gilly likes flowers. It's it's so cute to me. He's out there just holding his rose, holding the rose, and um, what the fuck? He's out there holding his rose and watching. Watch it, YouTube. It looks so cute. It's a little vascular. yeah <coughs> what the hell so i am so it comes home with this rillo just a rillo no package like you really just walked 45 fucking you really just walked two hours with a rillo bare rillo okay so i'm the crazy one though so he fucking comes home with this Rillo. Anyways, he's like, yeah, so I got to go back out in the morning. Whatever. Or he's telling us, we got to go to bed. I got to go to bed. I'm like, I thought you were off somewhere. He's like, I got to go to bed. Like, And then he uses all my soap and doesn't even give me more soap. Like, And then you give me this shitty, like, you give me this supposedly fucking superficial ass Valentine's present. But you couldn't even give me soap. That you ran out. So. This dude. He fucking.
wakes up, showing off at 6 o'clock in the morning. And he's being a fucking dickhead that I'm before, like I told y'all. Wakes up 6 o'clock in the morning to go get this car. Comes back, takes a shower. I told him you might as well be going all fucking days since you want to be doing like all this weird shit. And he literally leaves all fucking day. I lay in the bed all day just soaking this in, just thinking God that, you know, all the good Valentine's Day that I did have, how blessed I just been in my life. And I'm just like, God, if I have to be so close to my it's okay because I trust you. I can finally say that. And yeah, so it finally reaches like five o'clock. I've been trying to take a nap, but Gilly just doesn't let me nap all day. So I'm finally like, okay, let me get out of bed. It's seeming vibey outside and look like they started a campfire. I was like, all right, they be doing that. So I'm like, let me go out here and um, you know, see what's going on. And God's just telling me, like, you know, I was I sat there and I soaked it all in. But in that moment, before all that, before I soaked it in, God is like, a girl like you going outside, like, when I'm like, child, you are going to get blessed. Like, you don't worry about it. Oh, it looks like someone's on my screen. So, I'm like, okay, God, so let's see. So I go outside. Yeah. I'll give you chocolate when I'm done, okay? okay? Love you. I love you. So, um, we go outside. Friends are out there. It's great. We just, you know, I just, like, take a time to, like, unwind and just be like, this is my life and I'm grateful. And I trust the Lord in all the circumstances. And, um... Then we're like, okay, well, this is one, this one older, this elderly man that be doing the fires, and I'm like, my friend, the woman, so it's the elderly woman. I'm like, hey, um, let's go. I'm like, let's go up and see what she's doing. Maybe she can come down, we can go grab like some little, some drinks or, you know, some some tree and. You know, you just have fun. So I was so sure I ended up like trying to go do that. And then we just didn't end up meeting back down there. But I ended up going over to the store with her. Because she was doing laundry. Which is why we didn't meet down there. And when I get up there at the store has a great conversation um they're like offering me jobs they offer me a job twice over there which is why I was like kind of contemplating on it but I don't it doesn't feel like necessary but I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what God has in the story because my human mind can't comprehend this right now so I'm there with her anyways and so I ended up getting my rose and we went to go get milkshakes but we were just there like having a great talk um and so I feel like there was something I wanted to tell y'all specifically about that but I don't know no. hmm Oh, she was just excited to see me over there because she didn't know I was actually going to meet her there. And I ended up just getting my ice water because I was like, let me get me some ice water for Valentine's Day. This is great. I love ice water. So, yeah, I go over there. He's literally ditched me all day. So, I tell him, it's like 5 o'clock and I'm like, or when he, no, no, no. When he got back, it was like, it was like 8 o'clock or something. No, it wasn't 8 o'clock. It was like 5 o'clock. Maybe like 6 o'clock. I don't know. It was something like that. Oh, that was right. So after I went outside, then I seen that he was back. And then I came inside real quick. 
and I left Gilly. So this was at like seven. So I was like, or like eight, and I was like, I'm gonna go outside for like a little bit. I, I was like, can you watch him for a little bit? Like, you know, I just wanna go to some. And so he come home with like some bags and stuff, but just with that same old like hateful attitude, and I'm just like, whatever. And um, so I guess he's like about to cook on the grill, but I didn't see like no Valentine stuff. And it was just, it was just a whole messed up situation. It was just really sketchy. I seen him like outside with the bag. It was just, then this man like come around the corner and was like waving at me. And it was just, it was just so weird. Like I honestly, like at this point, it's just like what to, how to, how to take it in, right? And it's just time, God has shown me just time is healing. And anyways, I so he's like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. And he like beats around the bush pretty fine. He's like, yeah, okay. So I go. And I can finally just like, you know, chill with my, with the ugly woman. Because, you know, she gets a little nervous when Gilly starts to get like, you know, rowdy and stuff. So, um, yeah. And she has a little dog and like Gilly be getting like, um, they get really just overwhelming sometimes them two together so i ended up going back to chill or i met her at the station after that at the store and um you know i was over there just chilling you know doing the laundry but it was just like it was really good you know it was just so good to like take it in and just be like you know love it doesn't have to be like you don't have to be in a relationship to be loved like can we stop this lie this lie that is circulating so then we're walking back from the store and we see the elderly man outside and we're like oh there you are and so then he ends up um going to get like some drinks and stuff and we ended up chilling over at her house. Um, he left pretty early, but like we was over there for like a good while talking until I was like, girl, I'm about to fall asleep. Like I can't do this. And he deactivated the key. So now I just be locked out. Apparently I don't fucking know what he did. Um, trying to check to see if I leave or something. I'm not you. I'm not going to be hiding shit. I don't care. I really don't like what the fuck. So, anyways, he deactivated my key. So, I ended up coming home at like two in the morning, like one in the morning. Yeah, one in the morning, one thirty. And so today we're supposed I'm supposed to go back, um, and oh, we're gonna go start a fire today because she wanted to like go do that last night. I was like, girl, I can't do it. Like, I am. I need my sleep. So, and it was like really cold out. And I don't want him to get like, I don't want to push it too far because I already told him it was like an hour. Um, yeah. So then I come back in the night and I'm like, you didn't save any food because I knew he was cooking on the grill. And I was like, I'm ready for this food. Like, I done been turned and I was just like, yes, the good food. Like, ciao. So I come back in and, um, I'm like, did you say he's food? He's like, yeah. And you can tell he's just being like real quiet. And this is what he does when he gets in his feelings. And he's just like, yeah. And I'm just like, okay. The whole thing that got me was like, dude, like I just care so much more about you than you care about me. And this is not healthy. Like this is not meant to be because if it was, it would be the way that God wants it to be, right? It wouldn't be like this. It wouldn't be dysfunctional. So... He ends up just um so he's like yeah whatever there's the, the food is outside so i go get it was a like good steak and some butter shrimp it was good but i was noticing it was weird because i was like it didn't look like he had ate none but i was like i'm probably tripping um i guess they had some of the pasta that he made <laughs> which i didn't eat you know but i only ate the steak and shrimp and some popcorn because i came home hungry y'all like i was ready <laughs> so
So I had that. I was sipping on my moonshine. I had the pineapples. I stole some pineapples in there in the moonshine. And I'll have another juice. So today is round two. But y'all, I literally like, yeah, I ate and I go to lay down. And um, so anyways, um, you know, we're grown, we're all grown here. And, you know, when you become used to certain things, it's just like, one thing that I learned is like, God is a loving God. And I'm not going to sit here and act like, if I don't have certain emotions or certain urges and stuff. And so I'm already like, you know, he already gets, I don't know. It's just like, you know, I came and really tore up and he's like, oh, well, you know, he, you know, he made like the dinner, like he was just not getting mad that I took like a long time. And so I'm just like, yes, like peace. And then like, he tries it with me and I'm just like, whatever, like, you know, I just, you know, I had a good day. Like, I'm just, I'm not trying to fight. Um. Anyways, we go in the morning. He's like, always, he says this. He's been saying this for like the past fucking weeks. I don't even know what this relationship. Like, who said we was in a relationship, dude? You just ditched me the whole fucking Valentine's Day. You think could you come cook a steak and a shrimp on the grill, fucking pay the rent, and bring me this little fucking... In, in the bag, you know? Not even, like, no flowers, not even no teddy. Like, just just so weird, you know? Like, weird as fuck. Like, I don't... Like, I like a man that actually has some sense. Like, actually knows how to please one. Like, you know? I guess he's trying to learn to love. That's what the fuck they say. But it's just, like, it angers me because why would you drag me into this situation? That's the whole part I get angry about, right? It's not that I'm judging him, but it's, like... I literally told you I didn't think this was a good idea. I didn't think, you know, I was ready for this. And you go forcing and rushing everything. And just to have me in your in the middle of your chaos. Like, wow, how inconsiderate. Like, if you would ever call yourself a Christ-like man, you would be lying. And so, and he does. So, <laughs> child, like, forcing me to wear a hijab. Forcing me to accept, like, you know other women because supposedly i'm not i'm not being sexual at all like like i'm unpacking trauma in this video unpacking mental trauma that is this title of this video y'all i literally <laughs> he always always like this relationship whatever so then he goes outside um and he brings me back in this and he just throws it in the bed. Just like he did my ring. Like, it was so weird. Like, he just brought the ring. Like, I don't want an unintentional man. Like, that is not what God has for me. And I know that, you know? But, just said 333 again. Ciao. 3830. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I keep saying 333 the past days. So, anyways he's like yeah he just throws this he didn't even propose to me y'all he just like literally gave me the ring he's like yeah we're married anyway so it doesn't look i'm just like bro you're you're really crazy in the head anyways it was like these red flags but to me i'm just thinking my family's already like you know tough love and toxic and stuff so i don't understand Anyways, all my Facebook rants like have come to YouTube, so welcome. <laughs> so anyways, he comes in, he just throws this and he's like, I got this for you. I'm like, dude, like he brings it and he got I guess it's the bag that this was. I seen him outside but then I was just like, What is this man doing? I'm not fucking trust him. When I first seen him that he was back and he barely saw me, but it was weird. So anyways, yeah he brings this back in he throws it and he's like i got this for you i'm just like dude he's just like mentally so fucked 
and I'm already mentally fucked. So how the fuck do you expect me to help you? You know? It's just literally crazy. I guess the Holy Spirit is the only way. Um, mm, wow. I don't know. But at the same time, it's just, I don't feel like, you know, you don't really, I don't feel loved, you know? I don't feel like, you know, you have that wife effect. Like, the things that you do, the way that you treat me, the things that you do, and you think that you could just cover it up with, like, like, can you not? Like, I don't care about that stuff. Like, I want Mommy. to be genuinely loved. Like, Mommy. you know? Mommy. Obviously, I don't like Mommy. the parts of me that was attached to the world that was in sin because it was just ugly. And it is ugly. And I don't want, I don't want to be there anymore, you know? And it's like, if Mommy. he wants to, you know, he wants to stay behind and... It's just like the terrible things, you know, he's done to me and just like, and then in Jesus, I'm just like, y'all see my frustration. Mommy. I know y'all see my frustration. Mommy. What? I want toys. Where are your toys? I want toys. Toys. <laughs> he wanted me to buy him toys. I want toys. So, All right, mommy play toys with you when I'm done, okay? Okay. He had one toy. He the chocolate. <laughs> it's just, y'all. This is why I'm mentally fucked up. Like I can't even finish talk. Like I don't even know what else to say, honestly. Wait, we're gonna try these. These look really pretty and good. Hi there. Mmm. That's a chocolate. Oh, sorry. It's like a chocolate cream. Mmm. Mm. I knew it was gonna come back. I'm gonna buy another one. It's just like after all these years, it's like this is a slap in the fucking face. You know? Oh, karma. This is what all my trauma is worth to you. It's just my heart, y'all. It's like, fucking let me go. Like, I feel emotional. It's like, I've already let myself go, but it's just like, the enemy really be thinking, like, you can just do whatever you want. And it's, it's so annoying. Let me check it. Let's take this. Take this. Shut it. Okay. You want another one? One. I want to win him on one. Yeah. Take a bite. Bite it. Oh, that was another caramel one. This is dark chocolate caramel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And he always gets me devotionals and he's like, I wish you would read them. Fucking mad. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Yeah, so versatile 666, that's mm -hmm. cute. It's really, it was 9.99, it says here. But when you flip it, obviously it's 666. Yeah. That has been my life with um my son's dad. Unpacking my mental trauma. Unpacking mental trauma. I love you. I hope that you think I'm a little less crazy now. Um, and just know it took me a lot to share this with y'all. 
all by God's grace it is in him that we can be ourselves you know I just think that's so beautiful like ever since I've seen that verse in the miraculous power constantly energizing me verse it's just like my life has been changed in a way where and ever since the year ago when I committed to like you know walking with God you know literally with the Holy Spirit like Enoch did and it's just you know and beautiful um all right, after y'all, I'm gonna eat the whole box. Gilly, um, now right now, okay? In a little bit. You wanna go outside? You wanna go see the doggy? Anyways, I have plans here, like I was telling y'all. Um, hey, I need you to calm down. See, and then he'd be just acting like it's it's like so triggering. But um like I love my kingdom spouse, y'all. I will I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, I love that man to death. And um like it's just like that's why I'd be like so frustrated and I'd be like venting to him and like I used to feel really bad and feel like oh I don't deserve like you know I don't deserve a good man child like i don't deserve a good man you know i used to think so like i don't know i thought of myself like well this i guess this is what i deserve right but it was just through spending time with god that it was like god was like i love you and you know i don't want you to be i don't want you to be harmed i don't want you to be um neglected like you know I learned I learned what it was like real love really is you know especially when my son was born like it made me realize how shitty his dad was and like you know he couldn't he didn't I knew I wasn't tripping like I was like okay I'm not crazy like you know I was like, I'm not crazy, like, you know, this man really has been gaslighting me or whatever it's called, like, you know, invalidating everything, trying to invalidate everything that I'm feeling or saying and seeing in. What, Gilly? What? Y'all, I gotta go. But yeah, I like I said, I have a little plans today. Um, also, someone else told me that they're off work on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I didn't go see them on Tuesday because I'm like, child, I'm not coming to see you for Valentine's Day. But it was good to see the elderly man because his girlfriend did pass away. And he tells me I look like his girlfriend, which is weird because apparently we're not even the same. Like, well, I know it doesn't matter, but um, it was just so funny because this world can be so... Pre like prejudice yeah but apparently you know we're not even the same like ethnicity and you know he said that i was like i didn't even know that we weren't the same ethnicity till the elderly woman told me so i was just like wow <sighs> but um it was good to see him too because it was just like we was both going through this moment and you know he was saying that he's lonely so i told him like you know my testimony and what jesus like Jesus literally had to be my rock, you know. Jesus had to be, um, you know, my consentment. Like I had to delight in the Lord. Like I had to stop seeking for validation in this toxic relationship because it was it was taking my life away from me, and it was just it was just terrible. It was sickening. Like I still just I just praise God to this day for my kingdom spouse because. The way that he came in my life and literally taught me to, you know, be like, be demand, like, not demanding, but like, just be unbothered. Like, and it was so crazy because, you know, I used to pray for an angel. I used to pray to be unbothered. Like, when we was in our apartment, like, I used to pray for this stuff because 
it was so and then you know i would get little moments where i was like i felt the urge and i could do certain things and i just started stepping out of faith and it was just you know it all came together it was beautiful like a beautiful puzzle but um you know i used to pray for those things and you know he literally came in my life and just just started pouring into me and immediately i know i'm like you know this is the type of guy that you know this is a godly man this is a righteous man um yeah so like i said i didn't go visit the other person yesterday because i meet like friends out here that's one thing my son's that he gets so angry about but then i go to his job and he's like every time i pull up to his job like every time i pop up to his job he's with talking to a female every time never fails and or like you know buddy buddy and it's just like and i'm not even allowed to say hi to the opposite sex like it's insane it's actually insane this is what taught me like to stand my ground and as much and it's like it's so funny because my kid is boss he'll give me advice you know to be more like standing my ground and stuff but he didn't realize it was gonna backfire a little bit because men they do be toxic they do be toxic in this era because it's just you know the history of humanity and women are just now like you know really standing up for these rights and stuff and um they're used to running excuse me they're used to running shit i'm just gonna put it out there but yeah so i made this other friend too um they said on the one that gave me this and they're like on tuesdays and wednesdays they off so i didn't go see him on valentine's day because i want to send him a message but i think today is gonna be pretty out 555 five, five. today is gonna be pretty out so i'm just gonna thank you for the space lord hallelujah amen the amazing grace child the saving child so let me not get hyped let me stay focused y'all so i'll probably go out on the back porch with them um let my son play outside a little bit before i go over to visit my elderly woman because you know i don't go there too early because i know i'm gonna stay up there all day or most of it so i'm gonna go smoke with him first because yeah he'll be smoking me up like i said he gave me this and you know he's a it's chill you know <coughs> invite me over so i'm going what i look like being boy today it's just like it's time hmm jesus like the authority in christ like is what we have to stand up with like right now like heaven on earth is so we don't even know how easy it is to grasp and like how we can just reach out and grab it right now you know we don't even know that but that's what i'm here to tell you because I've, you know, my that's why I'm going to share my testimony. But I love y'all so freaking much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I just, this is like, YouTube is my little world therapy slash friend group slash, you guys are my family, you know? And um, I'm just so grateful for you. And don't forget to also subscribe to my faith-based channel um, on there. I'll be posting Kingdom Family stuff whenever that starts to unravel. So I'm really excited. Um, and I'm just thankful for, you know, the plans that God has um, for our future to prosper and not harm us. Um, I'm just so thankful for everything that's in the works. But I just wanted to come on here to show you guys today that enemy will play with your mind so this is like a mental health awareness video but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and upload this i love you so much bye